Hello and welcome to Global Gap series of short videos addressing risk assessments. Please keep in mind that the scenarios shown in this video are only examples to illustrate the general approach or standard procedure. Solutions and necessary measures may vary on a case by case basis. As foodborne illnesses in fruit and vegetables have been associated with contaminated water, risk assessments for pre and post harvest water are of critical importance. Producers should use industry guidelines, reference materials, and prevailing regulations when developing procedures. Some countries have additional requirements for agricultural water quality, so it is essential to consider prevailing regulations. Different standards require different types of water risk assessments. For example, Integrated Farm Assurance for Flowers and Ornamentals emphasizes the impact water quality may have on the environment. Under IFA for fruit and vegetables, food safety must be considered in addition to environmental impact. For fruit and vegetables, both pre- and post-harvest water uses must consider the environment and be documented in a risk assessment. This includes both indoor and outdoor production areas. Some important considerations of the risk assessment are What are the water sources? Are the distribution systems open or closed? Do the irrigation methods allow water to come into direct contact with the crop? What are the characteristics of the crop? Is there significant water use for other activities on the farm? How do farming activities affect off-farm environments? And additional criteria as stated in the principles and criteria. Groundwater systems, like wells, may have a lower risk because they are enclosed and not accessible to animals and other contamination. Surface water systems may have a higher risk because open canals provide opportunities for contamination to enter the water supply. The water delivery method also makes a difference. Distribution systems like drip irrigation or center pivots may have a lower risk because the water is not exposed. Open furrow irrigation may have a higher risk because the water travels along the surface to reach all parts of the field. Irrigation methods like sprinkler, drip, furrow, or seepage must also be considered to determine the likelihood of water coming into direct contact with the crop. For fruit and vegetables, water used for pre-harvest and post-harvest activities must be analyzed. A water analysis frequency must be established in the risk assessment and must be aligned with current sector-specific standards or relevant regulations. Pre-harvest water must be analyzed at least annually. And post-harvest water that comes into contact with the product must be analyzed at least once per season or more frequently if required by the risk assessment. Samples for analysis must be taken as close as possible to the point of application. For fruit and vegetables, a documented procedure for water analysis must be prepared. The procedure shall include the frequency of sampling, the person responsible for sampling, the method of sample collection, the laboratory analyzing the samples, and the sampled location. You can find additional resources in the video description. We hope you learned more about pre-harvest water risks and mitigation. Thank you for watching.